Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is that today's film is, um, I don't know if you'd call it a tag. It was, it was something that I saw Ari Lynette do and I will um, tag his channel uh, in the description box below. He did what he called a Frankenstasia palette where he took different shades from different palettes, existing palettes, to create his own perfect Frankenstasia palette. So, I wanted to do the same. So here we go. I'm going to put a picture up on screen. This is Ari's version. He decided on a bright orange cover. And you can see he's gone for a very warm, sort of half warm, half cool toned palette. It does look very Anastasia, I will say. So, I narrowed mine down to there were five palettes that I don't have. One that I do have, but it's getting a bit old and the pigmentation isn't what it used to be. So, the, fir the first palette is uh, Jackie Iner's palette, or Yucky Weiner, as I refer to her. Um, I have no time for that woman until she properly apologises to Petty Page. She could have cost the woman her job. She accused her on YouTube, made it very obvious, even though she didn't mention Paige's name, she made it very obvious who she was talking about. Um, and basically accused her of stealing from her and then gave some half-assed apology on Twitter where she's got nowhere near as many subscribers. What she should have done, you accused her, her on YouTube, she should have apologised to her on YouTube. But she hasn't. So until then... As far as I'm concerned, she is Yucky Weiner. Um, there was one shade from her palette that I really loved, and that was Supreme. Just that one that I wanted. Um, and then in the Norvina Volume 1 palette, um, you know, the big purple one that came out. Um, I wanted one shade from that, I wanted C4. And then Modern Renaissance is the palette that I have, but it's getting a bit old now. I'd already panned one because it was the first high-end palette I ever bought, and I panned most of my favourite shades in it. I panned about four or five of the shades in it, so I ended up giving it to a friend of mine and rebuying it because um, I wanted those shades to be brand new again, but then my love of makeup exploded and I've, to be quite honest, barely touched it since, which is a shocking thing to admit. Um, but the two shades that I really want um, out of the Modern Renaissance palette is Buon Fresco, which is my absolute favourite transition shade, and Cypress Umber. And then the Norvina Mini, the little nine pan palettes. Um, the first one that she did, the sort of citrusy one. Now those ones aren't named, but I wanted those two shades. The sort of peachy colour and the bright orange. And then in the Norvina palette which is the big square blue one I wanted B5 E3 B1 and A5 and then from the original Norvina palette so the one with the like furry covering 
there were four shades I wanted from that. I wanted Wild Child, Soul, Celestial and Eccentric. So, before I show you my completed palette, there's 7% from the Yucky Winer palette and the Norvina Volume 1. There's 14% from Modern Renaissance and Norvina Mini Volume 1. And then 29% from Norvina Volume 2 and the original Norvina palette. So, when I put all of those colours together, let me just move you that white fraction. And you swing back again, there we go. That is what my completed palette looks like. Very me. There's purples, there's blues, there's greens, and then there's that pop of orange just for a little bit of fun. So I thought, well, I don't want to do the same cover as Ari, so I did mine with a gorgeous sort of olive green, mainly because at the time I was designing it, uh, I'd got a plate full of olives that I was eating. And that may have inspired my <coughs> palette cover choice. Um, I'll put mine and Ari's side by side so you can see they are, uh, there are a couple of shades that we've both chosen by the look of it. But um, yeah, mine's, mine's it's very me, isn't it? So that is my perfect Frankenstasia palette. What do you think? Would you buy it? i got to admit, I do like it. But then I would, wouldn't I? Because, well, I kind of designed it. And then, after I'd done that, I thought... Do you know what? I want to have a go at playing with a different palette. But rather than create it all from new, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take an existing palette and change it. This is something that Makeup Struggles used to do. She's since come off of YouTube, which is a real shame because she was actually the first person I ever collabed with. Um, so it's a shame she's not on YouTube anymore. But she used to do this regularly. So the palette that I've chosen is the Colourpop Aha Honey palette. I was so excited when they said they were going to do a yellow version of this and then they produced it and it looked like that. It's got a press glitter in the middle and a lot of those shades when you blend them out look so similar on the lid. There's no real depth. I mean for Buzzkill to be the deepest shade, come on now. Could you have done a more Caucasian yellow palette? People with a deeper melanin are not going to be able to use this without it looking ashy as hell and bloody awful on them. So I kind of had a bit of a play and I came up with this instead. So top row I've got all mattes. I've got a beautiful pale buttercup lemony shade, followed by a very vibrant neon yellow, and then a lovely kind of um, sort of Terry's chocolate orange orange shade. So not a bright orange, but not a muted orange, just sort of somewhere in between. And then for the middle row, I've got a. Um, a beautifully pale buttercup lemon shimmer, not glitter, shimmer. And next to that, in a similar tone to the orange on the top um, row, I've got another shimmer there. And then next to that, I've got a beautiful russety brownie orange. And then the bottom row, I kind of went. I was still with my olives, can you tell? So I kind of went veered off into the green areas. So I've got um, a light sort of khaki green, 
followed by a deep olive green, followed by a really lovely deep muted green. So I think that that, personally, to me at least, is a far more appealing palette than the one that Colourpop produced. And I even designed a cover for it and I called it Summer Citrus. I just think, you know, you've got one row of all yellows, you've got a deeper browny toned ready orangey shade if you want to deepen those up that way. You've got a light and a medium shimmer and then you've got greens across the bottom and I just, to me, because you can get honey that is those shades of green because I've seen it in the supermarket. I think it was the Mancuma honey actually, the really expensive stuff. So for me, that's a far more interesting palette to play with than the Aha Honey palette. So, a super short film for you today. As I said, I will link Ari and his original film for the Frankenstasia palette in my description box. Um, there's no point linking Makeup Struggles because her channel is not there anymore. But I will forever remember collabing with her. Love that woman. Still hope she might come back at some point, but who knows. Right, let's get myself back central again. Hello. So, of the two palettes that I created, my Frankenstasia and my Summer Citrus, which do you prefer? If they were, if I had actually collabed with either Anastasia or Colourpop and had produced these palettes, which one would you jump for? Now obviously, obviously the Anastasia one is going to be 40 quid, 40 bucks and the Colourpop one's 12 bucks. So taking the cost out of this, which of those two palettes appeals to you the most? Which colour scheme appeals to you the most? And if you were to look at all of the Anastasia palettes, most notably the ones that you don't have, if you were going to create your own Frankenstasia palette, yours look like? Which colours would you choose? And would you go for the original 14 pan shape? Or would you go for one of the new big square Norvenas? Or would you go for one of the little 9 pan Norvenas? Let me know. I would be really, really interested to see what colours you would choose and I now challenge everyone who has ever collabed with me to do your own Frankenstasia palette. I really want to see what you, if you were collabing with Anastasia and you could choose from any of the colours they've already produced what would your palette look like? I especially want to see Nikki Raven and your stamper and Morrison Stars Hollywood Jessica and Kaylee Wesley do this one but as I said, anyone who has collabed with me, I challenge you to do your own version of the Frankenstasia palette. Be sure to tag Ari Linnet when you do that, please, so that um, you know he gets he gets the kudos for starting off this particular tag, even if he wasn't intending it to be a tag. I've decided it is one. 
So, I really hope you enjoyed that. Something a little bit different from me, a bit of a shorter video. Um, if you're one of my 4F babies, please check you are still subscribed because you're still getting lopped off at the back there. Once you've done that, don't forget to hit like or dislike if you didn't enjoy this video and comment down below which of the two um, palettes appeals to you most, which colour scheme calls you most. Is it the sort of the yellow springtime one or is it my Frankenstasia palette? If this is your first time here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, I do actually do more than just talk about makeup, I apply it as well. Uh, this look, I don't know if it's live yet. If it is, I will link it in the description box. If not, keep an eye out. It'll be up in the next few days, probably. Um, it would be awesome if you would like to join the 4F family by hitting subscribe, ringing the bell, saying all notifications, jumping through the myriad of hoops that YouTube want you to jump through these days in order to get notified of anything. Good grief. Um, and then hopefully you'll get told every time I upload another video. As I said, I have got an awful lot of other videos you can check out if you want to see exactly what I'm like when it comes to applying makeup rather than just talking about it. Right, my darlings, that is quite enough for me for one day. I need to go and start editing now. So all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.